This week, we're focusing on two value-for-money V8s, MG's V8 ZT and Vauxhall's Australian import, the Monaro, both available for around £28,500. On paper, at least, the MG sounds impressive, but its ugly 4.6-litre V8 engine and rear-wheel drive chassis are going to have their work cut out to beat Vauxhall's Monaro, which has 68 horsepower more and is over 100 kilos lighter. So, MG have given us what we always wanted, a British-built rear-wheel drive muscle car. OK, they've had to get an American V8 engine and stick it in. But I don't care where it comes from, as long as it gives me 260 horsepower to the rear wheels. Well, they could use a little bit more. This chassis, since it was originally designed to be a front-wheel drive car, is actually very good indeed. It's a shame I didn't have more of a muscly interior to put me more in the mood and some slightly better brakes, as these tend to have a rather soft pedal. The turning's good, the steering doesn't give me that much feel in the feedback. Oh. Right, let's set a time. Time to keep things neat and tidy. Just a touch of opposite lock. Smoothly through the radar complex and round the hairpin, and on to set a very respectable time of 55.6 seconds. Let's see if the Monaro is as well balanced around the track. Unfortunately for MG, this Vauxhall has got a 5.7 litre Chevy V8. And it's got a lot more grunt. It's even got a snazzier interior to get me a bit more in the mood. Again, only three gears needed. Well, in fact, I need two, because with the grunt of this hole, then I don't need first gear for the hairpin. The steering's a bit more communicative. The gearbox has got a bit of a feel. The only shame is that inside this Vauxhall, you don't hear enough of that big, brutal V8 blasting out its power. I won't be able to have this much fun when I'm going for a lap time but it's still going to be wagging its tail. The Monaro may be lighter and have more power, but it's only five hundredths of a second ahead by the radar complex. But by the time it's blasted down to the hairpin, it's extended its lead to nine-tenths of a second. The Monaro's on a roll, and it flashes across the finishing line a whopping one and a half seconds ahead. So, if it's a bargain V8 you're after, you now know where to go.